There's a lot of people at UT Southwestern that really care about people and doing great things for medicine and the research. Lisa Giebert spent the past 11 years caring for patients in the operating room at William P. Clement Junior University Hospital. But three years ago, she was at the hospital not to take care of others, but to take care of herself. The 55-year-old mother of two remembers the moment she sensed something wasn't right. I had a shower and I wrapped a towel around myself like you normally do, and my thumb felt a little ridge. It didn't feel like a breast lump. I felt breast lumps before working in the OR. It just felt different, just a little ridge. A little ridge that became a big health scare. I did have a, a partial mastectomy. Doctors removed the tumor and surrounding tissue. Six and a half weeks of radiation followed. The estrogen sensitive breast cancer is what I had. And I am taking a medication right now that prevents me from having a reoccurrence. About 80% of breast cancers are estrogen sensitive, meaning they require estrogen to grow. Hormone therapy is typically the best line of defense, but research shows as many as a third of these cancers will become resistant. I honestly didn't even know that there was that statistic until I read about what Dr. Raj was doing. For me personally, I mean, my grandmother died of breast cancer and, and she was the only grandparent that was with me when I was growing up. Uh, and so it was, it was particularly uh, devastating for us as a family. Dr. Ganesh Raj now dedicates his professional life to science and medicine. He's a professor of urology and pharmacology at UT Southwestern's Harold C. Simmons Comprehensive Cancer Center. I treat patients with prostate cancer. And to me, prostate cancer in men is very similar to breast cancer in women. When he's not treating patients, he's in the lab searching for answers at the molecular level with the help of donors, state, and federal dollars. A few years ago, we developed a drug to target androgen receptor in prostate cancer. But then we were challenged by other people at UT Southwestern to say, hey, if you can target the androgen receptor in prostate cancer, you should be able to target the estrogen receptor in breast cancer. We took the challenge on and we ended up developing a drug in breast cancer. This so-called first-in-class drug holds promise for therapy-resistant breast cancer. Well, this was a total offshoot of our work and we're absolutely thrilled about it. What that means is that for patients who have been on certain therapies like tamoxifen, like fulvestrin, these are common therapies that women with breast cancer are, are on for years. And if you become resistant to that therapy, it's usually because your estrogen receptor is mutated. What this drug offers is even for those patients, a chance to continue to be on an oral drug rather than get chemotherapy or other agents. He hopes to get a clinical trial underway in about a year. Knowing that if the drug that I'm taking now was to fail. To know that there's another drug that I could go to is very important. And if there's one important message Giebert says she's learned on her journey from breast cancer patient to survivor. From going through this whole experience, just that life is short. So she's reminding other women to do their part to stay healthy. Women need to pay attention to their bodies and if you feel something that's a little different and you don't know what it is, there's no harm in seeking out some help. Just check it out.